Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. I did my hair and got dressed properly for the first time in forever, so I thought I had to document it. Um, I got this shirt from RW & Co. not too long ago, and it's one of those amazing outfits that you can wear with leggings, so I thought it was pretty cute. Um, I am hopefully going to finish the bathroom a little more this week. The knobs are supposed to come. Um, so I can put the cabinet fronts on, which I have been waiting to do. I was worried that if I put them on without the knobs that we would potentially chip them, and I didn't want to risk that. I also switched out some of the evergreens that I still had hanging around our house. So I got these on Amazon. They are faux branches, but I really like them. I think I showed you before, but you can see they've got texture to them and they look like real ones. So I really love those. And I also switched out the evergreens in the kitchen. These ones have to be switched out still, but this is a plan for the rest of the week. I put in this real stuff, so I'm worried that when I go to take it down, it's going to make a huge mess. So I've been putting it off, but it is very much overdue. And I have also been shopping online for some spring things to update the space. There is... A specific picture I have in mind from the Studio McGee or McGee & Co. spring launch that I just can't get out of my head so I've been trying to recreate it so that's what the thing on the mantle is but I'll put the picture up on the screen. I'm obsessed with it. I think I'm gonna order the little picture stand and then print something from Etsy to put in a frame to put on there and I think I can loosely recreate that whole scene which I love. that did not go as planned um the texture i just don't think is right you can kind of see it there i think that the sprayer just i don't know didn't have it thinned enough or something but also look at my walls luckily i have this paint color and i did it in an empty room so it's not a big deal but yeah i'm in trouble so, I think I am going to use a roller for the next coat and hope that it goes a little bit better. So the second coat I rolled on, hopefully that helps, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here, but I can tell you that the holes, the second holes on the... Um, cabinet doors did cover so that is good at least one good thing came out of all of this but yes I don't know I just posted a picture to Instagram um, showing the kind of trim I was potentially thinking of doing so I don't know I still might just install it like this and go from there now I'm worried that adding that sort of trim would just make it very busy with the wall moldings so this might just be where it's at but we'll see there are two colors that i have had stuck in my mind for forever that are from pharaoh and ball which i did not know you could get here and i was trying to come up with a plan on how i could get samples of these colors so i could get them color matched but i learned you can actually buy it here and there's a store in toronto so i ordered two tester cans of these colors First off, I didn't know that Pharaoh and Ball was an English company, so they're from Dorset, England. Um, but the two colors, the first one is Pigeon, so if you follow Chris Loves Julia, this is what they used for their living room. And then the other color is French Grey. So I will open these up in a little bit so you can see them, but I potentially want to use these colors for a future project, so that's why I got them. I wanted to show you these in a bit better light, but they are still showing pretty dark on camera, which is interesting. So this is Pigeon. So it's a green, blue, gray, depending on the lighting. And then this is French gray, which is my current obsession. 
Um, and again, it's showing darker on camera, so I don't know really how to solve that, but it's kind of a bit better. So these are two colors I've loved for a while and want to use somewhere this year. So that's why I got these sample pots. Let's not pay attention to the outfit today. My back is killing me. Um, if you saw that on Instagram, today's the day, um, but I am pumped with painkillers, so I think I'm going to tackle this. The knobs came a day, well, significantly earlier than I expected. And I think that they look lovely. So, because I was waiting for the knobs to put the cabinet fronts back on, because I was nervous that if we were opening and closing without the knobs that we'd scratch it, I think I can go get them. So I'm gonna one by one put them on and put the knobs on. the knobs on I still have to adjust the cabinet fronts a bit but it looks pretty good I have to say even better in person um hold on let me turn the lights off and then you'll get a better look the color maybe whoops so I think it looks really good um like I said I just need to adjust the bigger drawers I figured out how to fix the spacing it's just one of those frustrating little tasks so Gotta do that, but I wanted to show you that quickly. Still waiting to hear about the light, and there's a few other little things that I'm still working on. It's Friday and I have the day off. We were planning to go to the cottage and go skiing, but we decided the cottage was a little bit of a hassle since everything's turned off for the winter. And then we looked up the temperature and it's minus 19 where we were gonna go skiing, so we decided let's not do that. And we're gonna go to HomeSense, to a thrift store, and Hopefully just do some nice things at home on the weekend, but I thought I would take you on our little shopping trip. I kind of like this, so I'm keeping that in mind. So, so many lamps. I found this frame. And then I saw this, which I thought was pretty cool, but not my style. Sorry, it's super sunny in here. I also really like this vase. I just don't have a home for it. You can see it's pretty big. At Costco, and I thought this was interesting. It's 40 bucks. It has a microphone and everything. That's pretty awesome. I don't think I need it though. I've always wanted to try these, but we do not have enough freezer space for those. They're chocolate covered strawberries that are frozen. The gap footed board. I think I've seen this before. I always really like it. Pretty cool. It's like a metal cabinet. It's a nice mirror. That is pretty cool and unique. This one. These are super nice. $3.99 each. All of their spring decor and such out.
I didn't get too many things on my shopping trip, but two things I did get were these rackets because I thought that they will look cute on the wall in here in the bonus room um, once I work on the space. And I think this was $2.99. The other one was $3.99. So I feel like that was a good price point. Another thing that I got at the thrift store was this little, it's like a little brass tin. Opens up. I don't know. I just liked it. Thought it was pretty cool. So got that. And these are the two other things that I got. This wasn't super exciting, but I just thought it would look nice on a shelf. And then this matches the dishes at the cottage, if you remember. So I thought it was good. And then we got these at Costco. I don't know if you've had them before, but they're like a healthy oatmeal cookie. Super yummy. And I'm pretty sure that I got my neighbors addicted to them because I went shopping to Costco with them a little while ago. And now I always pick these up for them when I go. I'm just on the third floor and I took down the tarp, but I gotta show you the damage I did in here. When I was spray painting. Yeah. Oops. I mean, I saw it happening while I was doing it. I didn't know it was that bad, but I also knew I had this paint in the basement to fix it, which made me feel a little bit better, but still not good. Learn from me. Don't do this. We spent a lot of time cleaning up yesterday. I think the whole day we dedicated to cleaning. So that's when I was cleaning and taking down the tarp in here. But then I started to organize. Obviously didn't touch that. But emptied out these closets. Put a lot of stuff under the bed. So I'm going to get a bed skirt. I'm planning to do a little refresh on the headboard. Do something fun with the closet. But it's all hanging space right now. So I'm actually going to order a bunch of shelves to put in here. So this is going to be like my office slash craft stuff. I think Chris is going to put his stuff for like that sort of stuff in there. And then I'm hoping to put my desk here, maybe get some chairs. I don't know. So that's what I'm kind of thinking for in here. You can see Finn broke his cat tree and it's still a little bit of a mess. I cleaned, but I did not vacuum. So that is also on the docket for today. And then I tidied up a little bit in here as well. Again, I need to do a big vacuum. I wanted to give you a little look at how things are this week. So here are the painted cabinet fronts. I have adjusted them all. They look really, really good. I think I'm gonna leave them without trim. I think I like it, or at least for a little bit. I wonder if it would be busy if I put on trim. I did wonder about doing what I did to the wardrobe in the bedroom where I would put the molding that's on the wall, but like continue it, if that makes sense. So where there are joints in the cabinet, it would just be, it would just like a stop. So that is an idea, but it's looking really good. So there's probably not gonna be like too many updates about here. I am hoping that I can get my dream light through a partnership, still waiting to hear back. Um, I do want to put some art on the wall, but I think I want a bigger frame for here and I don't want to use the one that I had in here before. So I've got to look for something for there, some accessories and things. These are just things I pulled from downstairs and what else? I haven't figured out the shelving situation in the shower and I want to order a bunch of organization things to put underneath because it's a mess which you probably saw earlier in the video but I hope you like how it's looking I really like it I think it feels more at home and more me and I think it suits our house more so I'm really really happy about that um oh and I need to repot the snake plant but the pot that I need to put the tree in that has the pot that I want for the snake plant is outside and I think it's frozen. So that needs to wait for another time. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it was short and sweet. I actually didn't know if I was gonna have a video this weekend because like I said earlier, we were gonna go to the cottage and go skiing and I wasn't thinking that I would get to uh, do that much. So anyways, it's short and sweet, which is fine with me. Let me know if you do like to see what I get up to, even if it isn't like working on a project or if you prefer just like project-based videos. When I asked this 
earlier last year when I had significantly less subscribers on my channel. You guys like to just come along on my day with me, um, but I don't know if that's still the case, so do let me know and have an amazing week. Thanks for watching.